So, hello guys. In our last video, we have seen uh, humidification, dehumidification, and one example. Till now, we have completed four basic processes: humidification, dehumidification, cooling, heating, and one more process, which is combination of cooling and dehumidification. Now, moving towards the next remaining processes, our next one process is cooling and humidification where sensible cooling plus humidification occurs <clears throat> now we can see in the chart point number one to two this process is cooling and humidification where humidity of process or air gets increased from point number one to two and simultaneously its temperature is reduced from point number one to two here we can see W1 and W2 are different and DB1 and DB2 means dry bulb temperature of point number 1 and 2 is changed from number point number 1 to 2 temperature is reduced and from point number 1 to 2 relative humidity or specific humidity is increased so this process is called as cooling and humidification this process actually we do at the place where there is a uh, means at the desert place or likewise places places where the less humidity of of air is found and hot air is found so for cooling and humid uh, sorry for for this cooling and humidification processes done so you will see here one machine is uh, one machine we can see which is <coughs> here makeup water is added and one pump is there which sprays the water from the sprayer nozzle which cools down the air entering the tube so in this process the temperature and moisture of the air gets increased and temperature is decreased so here one condition is there for the cooling and humidification temperature of water should be more than the dew point temperature of and less than the dry bulb temperature of incoming air so why this dpt of uh, dpt should be less than the temperature of water and should be should be greater than the dry bulb temperature should be greater than the temperature of water and dpt should be less than the temperature of water so we will see in next slide here a psychometric chart a one diagram we can see point number one to two to three point number one to three and one to three three process processes are drawn one to three one dash two dash three dash one two double dash three double dash three processes are there these all processes are example of cooling and humidification but lines are different so what is the difference between them we will see so the condition we have that uh, the dpt of incoming air should be less than the temperature of water and should be temperature of water should be less than the dry bulb temperature of incoming air so if dpt of uh, dpt is less than t water and is less than the WBT then the process occurs is 1 2 dash and 3 dash so first line if the DPT of water is less than the temperature of water and temperature of water is less than the weight bulb temperature so this process will be happy and second process is if the DPT is less than the temperature of water and the temperature of water is equal to weight bulb temperature weight bulb temperature we can see at the saturation line and if these two temperature are equal then the process is called as adiabatic cooling in adiabatic cooling in adiabatic cooling the enthalpy remain constant 
this is the declaration of idea by decoding from point number one to three throughout the throughout the process the enthalpy would be remain constant so this is our adiabatic cooling now this third condition is if wbt wet bulb temperature is less than the temperature of water and temperature of water is less than the dry bulb temperature then this process will occur so these three basic processes we see the example of cooling and humidification now the effectiveness of the humidifying efficiency these two are the term are same effectiveness or humidifying efficiency of the spray chamber is given by ratio of actual drop in temperature upon ideal drop in dbt is also equals to ratio of actual drop in specific humidity upon ideal drop in specific humidity in this way we can calculate the humidifying efficiency or effectiveness of a coil now moving towards our next process which is heating and humidification actually this process we are not using that much but in cool place cool places we are using heater directly now a psychometric process that involves the simultaneous increase in both the dry bulb temperature and the humidity ratio of the air is called as heating and humidification process we can see from point number 1 to 2 where specific humidity is increased and temperature is also increased now this process is occurred by steam injection where hot air steam is injected the steam is normally injected into the air in order to increase its specific humidity as shown in figure and this process is used for the air conditioning of the textile mills where high humidity is to be maintained its application is where textile industry or other industries like where we have to maintain the high humidity as high and also increase the temperature so at that place we use this process dry bulb temperature of air changes very little during this process as shown on the psychometric chart on psychometric chart we can see that the, from point number 1 to 2 a sensible heat is added very less and the specific humidity is increased in the wide range so moving towards the next topic which is heating and dehumidification so this process is also called as adiabatic chemical dehumidification because normally this process is not applicable or we cannot achieve with the simple machines or any spray or injector for this process we have to use chemicals now in the chart we can see from point number 1 to 2 arrow is going downwards its temperature is reduced and simultaneously its humidity is reduced for the reducing its humidity we have we have to use air chemicals this process is mainly used in industries industrial ACs and can also be used for some comfort installation required either or either a low relative humidity or low dpt in the room so basically where we require the low humidity and simultaneously the temperature of room is low so there we can use this process some refrigeration or some industrial ACs are made for this application where chemicals are used <coughs> in the tubes in this process air is passed over the chemicals which have an affinity of a moisture <coughs> this is the main basic operation of the this process so which chemicals are used here which is having affinity for moisture means we can reduce the moisture from the air so as the air comes in the contact with this chemical the moisture get condensed out of the air and keeps up its latent heat 
this chemical absorb the humidity from the air and throughout the heat so heating will be done and simultaneously dehumidification is done with the help of these chemicals due to the condensation of uh, condensation the specific humidity decreases and the heat of condensation supplies sensible heat for the heating the air thus we get increase in temperature so now the process is shown by the line point number 1 to 2 here you can see point number 1 to 2 <clears throat> this process is heating and dehumidification so and this reverse is adiabatic saturation process if we do its reverse process so we will basically get adiabatic saturation <clears throat> so now the path followed during this process is along the constant wbt line or constant enthalpy line this process actually uh, will be happened with the constant wbt line here point number 1 2 3 is constant wbt line where variable temperature is constant throughout the process here a point to be noted that only variable temperature is same here other specific humidity and temperature as change so that's all for today we will see in next lecture about the mixing of two streams